Hi, I'm Mike Lee. I'm a U.S. Senator from Utah. Hi, my name is Sawyer, and I'm in the first grade. I want to talk today about the U.S. Constitution, but we can't really protect our rights unless we know they're being taken away. We can't know they're being taken away if we don't know what they are. And yet, shockingly, nearly half of all Americans don't know what rights the First Amendment protects. We've got to change this. So I'm going to team up with my friend Sawyer today to talk about the First Amendment. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we still got a lot of blood. You've got to remember that if a five-year-old can understand the First Amendment, so can you. You're excited to learn about the Constitution? Yes. That's fantastic. So am I. It all starts with that document. The Constitution really is about rules. Do you have rules you have to follow? Don't draw on the walls. That's an important rule, isn't it? A Constitution is sort of like rules, but for rulers. Do you recognize any of these people? Any of our founding fathers? I recognize him. Yeah? Who's that? George Washington. Yeah. That's pretty impressive that you can recognize him even when I've got the picture upside down. George Washington, our first president, James Madison. John Adams, also Alexander Hamilton. Have you ever heard of him? They decided they wanted to have rules for rulers because when we were part of England, we had a king, his name was King George III. And King George III thought he could tell us what to do, but that he didn't have to follow any rules by himself. All right, so let's talk about the First Amendment. How old are you, Sawyer? Five. That is the number of freedoms that we have in the First Amendment. We're gonna talk about some of them right now. One of the most important features of the First Amendment is political speech. Now, I, I know you've got lots of questions about political speech. Say what? Political speech right there. As the Supreme Court explained the incorporation of the presiding bishop versus third-party court suit. Freedom of the press. But here's what you really, really need to remember. We have the freedom to believe in God. That's the first one. We have the freedom to speak, and nobody in the government can tell us not to. We have the freedom to report the news, and we have the freedom to meet with other people, and we have the freedom to complain about the government. Even if you don't get to complain to your parents, you can complain about your government. Okay. Do you think you've got it? Yeah, I think I've got it. You ready to answer some questions about it to make sure I've explained it right? Yes. Okay, so what happens if the police try to tell someone that they have to design and make something that they don't want to design and make because it goes against their belief in God. God. Yeah, it involves the freedom of religion. What if you and a bunch of your friends decide that you want to get together and somebody tries to tell you you can't? Yeah, exactly, because you have the right to assemble. What if the police decided to punish someone based on the way they reported the news. Yes, the freedom of the press. What if someone in the government decided to tell people that they couldn't complain about the government? Yes, you're exactly right. But what if you made a movie? This one. Complaining, yeah, exactly. You've got it, Sawyer. You're exactly right. You've identified the five freedoms protected by the First Amendment. Nobody in Washington can take any of those freedoms away. So if a five-year-old can understand the First Amendment... So should you. We want to follow through five high-five or a stop in the middle high-five for this.